What's up, guys? How's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to stream your PS5 without needing a game capture device and without having to give up 120 frames per second. Even if you have a game capture device, chances are it only supports 60 frames per second throughput, especially in 4K. Uh, with this method, you can still display 4K, 120 frames per second on your TV, and record or stream from your PC. So um, it's pretty exciting that this is possible now and it can save a lot of people some money on a capture card if it works for them um you do need pretty good internet or at least um network internet so um you need a good router um so that it'll process the data quickly and get it from point a to point b very quickly because it's basically streaming everything on the ps5 to your desktop um but let's go ahead and show you how it's set up so first off you need to go to um ps remote play so you need to install that it works for windows um ios android but we're going to do it on windows since we want to stream from windows so once you open ps remote play We select the PS5 we want to connect to. And now it's loaded up. Now, the thing here is we need to use the controller with this remote play, so it has to be connected to our computer. So we need to plug in our PS5 controller into the computer. But don't worry, you could still look at your TV and play wherever you are in the room and, and use you know, your TV to control the game and there will be no input lag or any lag at all like that, um, as far as I know. So the way you would record this now or stream it is um, you would open up Streamlabs and you would capture the screen. So let's go ahead and bring this over here. So you're going to capture the screen here and I have three monitors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the PS5 to a second monitor over here and I'm going to make it full screen. Now um, my stream is showing my PS5 contents and I could stream it on the computer and I could still play it on my um, monitor or on my TV or wherever I'm actually having it plugged into, but it will stream here and then we can stream that which is why i need fast internet you can stream that again over the internet to whatever broadcast platform you choose uh so yeah it works really well you can even use audio if you click on the um, ps5 here and click on um, muted and you unmute that you can actually get your mic audio into the ps5 from your computer as well so you get full voice check capabilities and everything, though the audio does get crackly if you're teetering on the edge of that um, internet limit. But otherwise, it works really, really well. Uh, let me know what your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, um, about any of this setup, um, you do have to turn on remote play. Let me go ahead and do that before I uh, end the video off because there might be some questions. You need to go to settings and then it's in system. No. Yeah, system, and then remote play. And you want to make sure remote play is enabled, and then you'll go through the steps to link the device. Once it's linked, all you do is you start the app up on your computer, and it starts running, and you can see um, a mirrored display of your PS5. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? <laughs> I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price.